Hello everyone. In this session, let's examine the impact of emotional and sensory marketing with special reference to services. Emotions. Human beings are considered as unique and complex creatures. For example, Turner in his book quoted that one reason for their complexity and uniqueness is the fact that they are highly emotional animals. They means us humans. And that is why human beings are able to experience and express different emotions. And more interestingly, they can interpret complex emotional states in others as well. So what are emotions then? Emotions are complex psychological and physiological responses to stimuli that play a crucial role in shaping human experiences and behavior. So how many emotions are there? Paul Ekman identified six basic emotions in human beings. These are like anger, happiness, surprise, disgust, sadness, and fear. Happiness or joy for that matter, characterized by a positive emotion associated with feelings of pleasure, contentment, and even well-being. This is expressed in terms of smiling, laughter, or even expression of delight. Coming to sadness, it is characterized as a negative emotion linked to feelings of loss, disappointment, or even sorrow. This is generally expressed in terms of crying face, withdrawal, or even expression of grief. Another emotion that is anger is an intense emotional response to perceived threats, injustice, or even sometimes frustration. It is usually expressed in terms of raised voice, clenched fist, and even expressions of hostility. Fear, another emotion, is a response to perceived danger, threat, or anxiety-inducing situations, which is usually expressed in terms of increased heart rate, avoidance behavior, or even expressions of fear as well. Surprise, another emotion, is a brief emotional state in response to unexpected events or stimuli. In these cases, we usually often observe people with wide eyes, open mouth, or even expressions of astonishment. And finally, disgust, which is a response to unpleasant or very offensive stimuli. Here, it is usually expressed in terms of facial expressions of repulsion or avoidance. Beyond this, six particular basic emotions, there are also called as some complex emotions. Complex emotions are defined as an emotion that is an aggregate of two or more other basic emotions. So what are the complex emotions we can have? These are love, envy, contempt, guilt, shame, and pride. Love is usually characterized as a complex emotion involving affection, care, and connection. It is usually expressed in terms of acts of kindness, expression of affection, etc. Whereas envy is a mix of desire and resentment triggered by another's success or positions. It is usually expressed in terms of courageous behaviors, feeling of discomfort or discontent for that matter. Contempt, another complex emotion, is characterized as a feeling of superiority or disdain towards others, usually expressed in terms of sneering, eye-rolling or even expression of scorn as well. Guilt, another complex emotion, is a negative emotion arising from a sense of wrongdoing or moral transgression. Usually people seen expressing guilt through apologic behavior, remorseful behavior and so on. Shame is another kind of complex emotion, which is a deep sense of embarrassment or humiliation often linked to self-perceived flaws or mistakes. It is usually expressed in terms of avoidance of eye contact, withdrawal, etc. And finally, the pride, a positive emotion associated with a sense of accomplishment or satisfaction, usually expressed in terms of confidence, expression of achievement, and so on. These are broad categories like basic and complex emotions. And these emotions can often be complex and blend into another. Additionally, Cultural and individual differences can influence the expression and interpretation of emotions. Understanding emotions is essential in various fields, including psychology and sociology, and even of course, marketing. As these emotions profoundly impact human behavior and interpersonal relationships, which are very much important in the context of services marketing.
Now, emotions have been crucial in terms of affecting consumer behavior. Consumer behavior is profoundly influenced by emotions, shaping the way individuals perceive, evaluate, and respond to product, services, or even brands. Understanding the interplay between emotions and consumer behavior is crucial for business aiming to create meaningful connections and drive purchasing decisions. So what are the ways through which emotions can influence consumer behavior? The first here is emotions and purchase decisions. Emotions significantly influences the decision-making process during purchases or even consuming services for that matter. Positive emotions such as joy or excitement can lead to impulsive buying decisions, while negative emotions like fear or frustration may deter customers from making a purchase. For example, buying a luxury item may evoke feeling of happiness and accomplishment, influencing the decision to make the purchase. The second connection is between emotions and brand loyalty. Emotional connections foster brand loyalty. Consumers are more likely to stay loyal to brands that consistently evoke positive emotions, creating a sense of trust, attachment, and identification. For example, Apple's marketing often emphasizes emotional aspects, creating a strong emotional bond that contributes to its brand loyalty. Third connection is with respect to emotions and consumer perception and brand image. Emotions shape how consumers perceive a brand. Positive emotions associated with a brand contribute to a positive brand image, while negative emotions can obviously tarnish the perception. For example, brands known for social responsibility initiatives may evoke positive emotions, enhancing their overall image. Next, emotions can also influence advertising and marketing. Emotionally charged advertising is more memorable and persuasive. Emotional appeals in marketing campaigns can create a lasting impression and drive consumer interest. For example, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola's emotional holiday ads often focus on themes of joy, togetherness, and even celebrations. Emotions also influence word of mouth and recommendations from customers. Emotions influence how consumers talk about product or services. Positive emotional experiences are more likely to result in favorable word of mouth recommendations. For example, a positive dining experience at a restaurant may lead to customers recommending it to friends based on the emotional satisfaction. Finally, emotions also influence post-purchase satisfaction among customers. Emotions continue to influence consumer behavior post-purchase as well. A positive emotional experience enhances overall satisfaction, leading to brand advocacy and loyalty. For example, excellent customer service that resolves issues promptly contributes to positive post-purchase emotions. Now, why emotions are important for services? The importance of emotion in services cannot be overstated. Emotions play a significant role in shaping customer perceptions, experiences, and long-term relationship with the services brand. Emotions play a crucial role in enhancing customer engagement. Emotions actively engage customers. Services that evoke positive emotions capture the attention and interest of customers, leading to increased engagement and interaction. For example, Disney's theme parks. Disney parks are designed to evoke a range of positive emotions, from excitement on thrilling rides to nostalgia through familiar characters. This emotional engagement encourages visitors to actively participate in the magical experience. Secondly, emotions also helps brands to build brand loyalty. Positive emotional experiences foster a sense of attachment and loyalty. Customers who associate positive emotions with a brand are more likely to remain loyal, make repeat purchases, and even resist the temptation to switch to competitors. For example, the services offered by Apple in terms of Apple Care. Apple products are known for creating a sense of loyalty and attachment among users. The slick design, the user-friendly interfaces, and the overall Apple ecosystem along with the services evoke positive emotions leading to long-term brand loyalty. Third, emotions also helps to boost memorable experiences. Emotions contribute to the memorability of experiences. Customers are more likely to remember services that elicit strong emotional responses, creating a lasting positive impression. For example, Airbnb. 
Airbnb focuses on creating unique and memorable experiences for travelers. The emotional connection is formed through personalized stays, cultural immersion, and the ability to connect with local host, making each stay more memorable. Coming to word of mouth marketing and role of emotions, emotionally satisfied customers become brand advocates. They are more inclined to share their positive experiences with others, leading to positive word of mouth marketing that can significantly impact a brand's reputation and customer acquisition. For example, Southwest Airlines. Let's have a look at this particular video which talks about how Southwest Airlines uses humor and other elements to elicit positive emotions among its customers on flight. Have a look at this particular video. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom, the evening to you. Thank you for coming out and joining this evening over to Iceland. Our flight time is going to be two hours. In command of our aircraft tonight is Captain Justin. He's assisted this evening by First Officer Michael. Your cabin staff, George, is in the back of the aircraft. Chris at mid-cabin and Robert up front. We're going to ask you at this time to direct your attention to the flight attendants. We're going to point out the safety features of the 737-700 series aircraft. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the event that you have not been in an automobile since 1942, <laughs> we're going to show you how to fasten the seatbelt. Watch closely. Do this. To unfasten it, you do that. That seatbelt needs to be low and tight across your hips, just like the hot pink Speedo I'm wearing tonight when we get to the hotel hot tub. <laughs> Folks, you don't like the jokes of service tonight? Six ways out of this airplane. Feel free to use them. There's going to be two forward exit doors, two overwing window exits, and two rear exit doors. There's signs on the ceiling. There's disco lights on the floor. They're going to lead you to these exits. Now, the seat back pocket in front of you, it's a safety information card. You'll want to read it before you need it. It out lines the safety features of this particular aircraft. Now in the unlikely event that our captain decides to turn the Love Airlines Southwest Airlines into a cruise this evening, we'll instruct you how to remove the life vest from beneath the seat. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a life vest, it's not a toilet seat cover. It goes over your head. You bring the black strap around your tiny little waist, you snap the two ends together and pull to tighten. To inflate the life vest after you exit the aircraft, you pull down on the red tab. Those of you that have to do absolutely everything the most difficult way, and those overachievers, will you blow into that red tubing located at the shoulder? The very best of luck to you with that, but then keep kicking and paddling over to the cabin shore. We'll be behind you shortly. You're going to be able to recognize the cabin staff. We're the ones keep toting that liquor kit. <laughs> now, folks, the gentlemen are passing through the cabinet this time because simply and frankly, we do not trust you. We have trust issues. We're ensuring that your handbag is beneath the seat. Seat back service tray full upright long position. Your handbag all the way underneath the seat and that your cellular phone is being used, not for texting or for a video at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for traveling with us. There is a non-smoking flight. If you have to have a cigarette this evening before we land, we have two entertainment lounges for you. One's out there on that left wing, the other one directly across the hallway on the right wing. You think you're talented enough to light it, you can certainly try and smoke it. But the rest of us, we're going to enjoy two feature films this evening, Gone with the Wind and Bye Bye Birdie. Very simple, very easy. Don't be naughty in the potties and leave the webcam alone in there or you end up on YouTube next week. <laughs> Folks, $2,200 for tampering with the smoke detector in these laboratories. And you know if you had $2,200, you'd be on American Airlines back over there to Iceland this evening in first class. Now, the gentleman and I, we certainly wouldn't have shown up for work tonight if we'd anticipated a decompression. But in the event of a decompression, four, saffron, yellow, Buttercup mask designed by Gucci and Martha Stewart where they're going to drop from that compartment overhead. And to start the flow of the alcohol, you have to first stop screaming. You have to let go of the person next to you. You reach up and grab that mask, fully extended the plastic tubing. You place it over your big nose and mouth and you continue wearing that mask and breathing normally until otherwise notified by one of your three fabulously dressed flight attendants. Now ladies, if I can have your attention again. Ladies, for those of you traveling with someone that's going to need your assistance, and ladies, you know whom I'm exactly talking about. Yes, ma'am, him, that very dear husband of yours. Darling, when the masks fall, you may want to take my advice. Sit back, relax, think about it for a bit. Some more diamonds, diamonds. For those of you traveling with your children, 
why? <laughs> and for those of you back there traveling with two of your children, what in the world were you thinking tonight? When those masks fall, put the mask on the bright one. That one's going to contribute to your retirement. <laughs> Folks, we thank you so much for sharing your night with us. Do us a favor, sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight hospitality. Or you can sit up and be tense. That choice is yours. The pleasure to serve you tonight, it is most definitely ours. Now, we've got one final message for you before we depart. We love you. You love us. We're much faster than the bus. We hope you enjoy our hospitality. Marry one of us, and you'd fly free. <laughs> Two hours to think about that wedding proposal, but you need to know one of us is a little higher maintenance than the other two. <laughs> We have seen that Southwest has built a reputation for friendly and humorous customer service. Passengers often share their positive and amusing experiences on social media by capturing such incidents on their phone, contributing to positive word of mouth marketing for Southwest. Coming to the next, emotions also helps to differentiate a services brand in the market. Emotional connections help businesses stand out in a competitive market. When customers feel a strong emotional bond with a brand, it becomes a distinguishing factor that sets the brand apart from the other competitors. For example, Starbucks coffee. Starbucks differentiates itself by creating a welcoming and comfortable atmosphere in its coffee shops. The emotional connection is built through the ambience, personalized drinks, and even the overall Starbucks experience as well. Next. Emotions also helps to raise customer satisfaction and retention. Emotions directly influence customer satisfaction. Services that meet or even exceed customer expectations create a positive emotional experiences contributing to a higher satisfaction levels. For example, Zappos, a retailer. Zappos offers free shipping, free returns, and even 24 by 7 customer service, which is evidence in this particular video that shows how Zappos use these all elements to create a unique experience so as to heighten the experience and satisfaction of their customers. Have a look at this video. Happiness. It comes from this box. A wink, a kiss, and sparkles from a love. A princess inspired by a frog. And the certainty it will arrive in time, it comes with each order. Her first steps and his first flight. It's all inside. What goes in this box? That's up to you. Getting it to you on time and without a hassle? That's on us. Zappos is known for its exceptional customer service, going beyond transactional interactions. The positive emotions generated from hassle-free returns, personalized service, and surprise upgrades sometimes contribute to high customer satisfaction. Coming to the next role of emotions in services is with respect to effective communication. Emotions enhance the effectiveness of communication messages. Messages that evoke emotions are more likely to resonate with customers, leading to better communication of brand values and benefits and even offerings. Let's have a look at this video, which shows how Nike does it better. Greatness. It's just something we made up. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is a gift reserved for a chosen few, for prodigies, for superstars. And the rest of us can only stand by watching. You can forget that. Greatness is not some rare DNA strand. It's not some precious thing. Greatness is no more unique to us than breathing. We're all capable of it. All of us. Some people are told they were born with greatness. Some people tell themselves. If greatness doesn't come knocking at your door, 
Maybe you should go knock on its door. Sometimes greatness is about overcoming insurmountable adversity. Sometimes it's just fun. Greatness isn't always measured in tenths of a point. It's a bit bigger than that. Sometimes greatness is something you plan. But most of the time, it's just something you try. It's easy to think greatness is only something you see on TV. Unless, of course, greatness is watching TV. Greatness is a scary thing. Until it isn't. If we think greatness is supposed to look a certain way, act a certain way, and play a certain way, we certainly need to rethink some things. Is it speed or endurance? Does it happen in two hours or four or six? Is it finishing strong or barely finishing? Yes. Is greatness worth fighting for? What do you think? If we face our fears, it means we're pointed in the right direction. Even if that direction is upside down. It's not the biggest stadium in the world. Not the biggest players either. But the pursuit of greatness is kind of big enough, isn't it? You don't need an official court, an official net, or official uniforms to be officially great. Greatness speaks for itself. Once it learns to talk. Greatness needs a lot of things. But it doesn't need an audience. Some measure greatness in precious metals. Like iron. Greatness is not born. It's made. If you'd like to tell the guy with the sword he's not great because he's not famous, be my guest. There are no grand celebrations here, no speeches, no bright lights. But there are great athletes. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is reserved for the chosen few. For the superstar. The truth is, greatness is for all of us. This is not about lowering expectations. It's about raising them for every last one of us. Because greatness is not in one special place. And it is not in one special person. Greatness is wherever somebody is trying to find it.
So, Nike's marketing campaigns often focus on inspiring and motivating messages. By connecting with customers on an emotional level through messages of empowerment and determination, Nike effectively communicates its brand values. Next is, emotions also helps to boost adaptability during challenges. Positive emotional connections make customers more forgiving during challenges or disruption. A brand that establishes emotional bond is more likely to receive understanding and patience from customers during difficult times. For example, Delta Airlines. Delta's handling of disruptions such as weather-related flight cancellations focuses on empathy and proactive communication. By addressing customer concerns with care, Delta Airlines maintains positive emotional connections even during challenges. Next comes to customer experience excellence. Emotions are integral to creating an excellent customer experience or CX. Beyond functional aspects, emotions contribute to the overall quality and satisfaction derived from a service. The Ritz-Carlton is an hotel chain is an example of how emotions embedded into services can create long-lasting customer experience. Let's have a look at this particular video which showcase the one of the recently opened hotel in one of the city Pune in India. At the Ritz Carlton Pune, we create experiences so exceptional that long after a guest has stayed with us, the experience stays with them. The Ritz Carlton Pune is a place where any guest can come at any given point of time simply by closing their eyes. Welcome to the Ritz Carlton Pune. Allow us to accompany you through the journey of our hotel. Our beautifully appointed and dynamic event spaces are suited to gatherings of all kinds, from fun and frolic Mendi celebrations, festive Sangeet evenings, the intimate wedding ritual, and the somber Vidai of the newlywed bride. Divisible in two parts, the space can transform to beautiful setups. Our ladies and gentlemen become part of your family through long nights and days of planning and finally, eternal revelry. An intimate space, the bridal suite is where your private moments can be spent as you reminisce the final minutes before your big journey. Our naturally lit pre-function is perfect for an exquisite culinary display that leads you towards the open to sky foyer. The gentle sound of water falling along with the vertical botanicals lends a sense of beautiful calm the perfect backdrop for your intimate feras. Welcome to the Crown Ballroom and the Outdoor Foyer, an exquisite space for close gatherings with an adjoining outdoor expanse. The wedding studio is an exclusive atelier for bridal appointments where the bride and family's thoughts and dreams are nurtured and brought to life by an impaneled team of specialists. Welcome to the residential area of the Ritz-Carlton Pune. We emphasize that you utilize our high-tech, zero-touch feature, the mobile key. Our spacious rooms and suites are uniquely designed as a statement of refined luxury. Don't miss the lush golf course view of the historic Pune golf course from your window. And should you wish to have close access to your family and friends, enjoying our connecting rooms that serve this purpose seamlessly. The beautiful Ritz-Carlton Tea Lounge is an icon of grandeur, a postcard from the tea parlours of Britain. 
The oasis of the hotel, the Ritz Carlton Spa, provides a calm yet powerful presence as well as a sense of place. And for your dose of luxury indulgence, let our experts make you feel truly pampered and fabulous. Our 24-hour fitness studio is perfectly equipped and at your service. An outdoor temperature controlled pool flanked by palms. Three Kitchens Restaurant and Bar tells the story of a Punekar's nomadic journey around the world. Our Japanese restaurant Yukio by definition means to live in the moment. We invite you to pay homage to this ancient traditional cuisine as Chef Edwin adds an exciting and unprecedented twist. to your evening in an elevated state at Asmana, a luxurious dining and nightlife experience in a celestial dimension. Join us on this journey of timeless luxury, curated experiences, legendary service for your wedding functions, celebrations and meetings. We can see that the Ritz Carlton is renowned for its exceptional customer service. The emotional experience is crafted through personalized attention, anticipation of guest needs, and a commitment to exceeding those expectations. Emotions also play a crucial role in terms of building brand resilience. Brands that evoke positive emotions are more resilient to negative events or criticism. Strong emotional connections build a buffer against temporary setbacks and help maintain the brand trust. For example, Pentagonia. Pentagonia's commitment to environmental sustainability and social responsibility resonates with its customers emotionally. This strong brand ethos contributes to resilience, as customers align with the brand's value even in the face of controversies. Now let's look at what is the impact of emotional marketing on services. First here is building stronger connections. Emotional marketing creates a deeper bond between the brand and the customer. When services evoke positive emotions such as joy, trust or nostalgia, Customers are more likely to form lasting connections with the brand. Secondly, enhance customer loyalty. Customers who have positive emotional experiences are more likely to become loyal. Emotional attachments foster a sense of commitment, making customers more resistant to switching to competitors. Third, positive word of mouth and advocacy. Emotionally engaged customers with the services are more likely to share their experiences with others. Positive word of mouth and advocacy are powerful outcomes leading to new customer acquisition through referrals. Fourth, differentiation in a competitive market. Emotional marketing allows a services brand to stand out in a crowded market. When customers associate positive emotions with a service brand, it creates a unique and memorable positioning that differentiate it from the competitors. Next, resilience during challenges. Brands that have established emotional connections with customers often receive more forgiveness during challenging times. Customers are more likely to forgive minor hiccups when they have a positive emotional bond with the brand. Next, increased customer lifetime value. Emotional marketing contributes to higher customer lifetime value. Loyal customers who emotionally connect with the brand are likely to make repeat purchases and engage in long-term relationship with the service provider. And finally, storytelling for brand narratives. Emotional marketing often involves storytelling. A compelling brand narrative that evokes emotions becomes a powerful tool for communicating values, mission, and even the essence of the services brand. Now let's move on to the next part that is sensory marketing. The senses play a key role in consumer perceptions and exert a powerful influence over buying decisions. 
marketers have long sought to integrate the senses into brand communications, albeit generally in a limited and partial way. Today, sensory marketing is recognized as an essential tool for strengthening the connection between brand and consumer by stimulating all the senses and generating emotions. So what is sensory marketing is? Sensory marketing is a strategic approach focusing on engaging and appealing to consumer senses to create a more immersive and memorable brand experience for the service provider. It recognizes that beyond visual stimuli, other senses such as sound, touch, taste, and even smell play a very crucial role in influencing consumer perceptions, emotions, and even purchasing behavior. Today, advancement in the areas of neuromarketing and evolution of markets have significantly contributed to the use or adoption of sensory marketing across industries. The development of sensory marketing has been driven by these two main factors. The first factor is the scientific research, particularly in the field of neuroscience, which is closely linked to the marketing function. Neuroscience helps us understand the brain processes involved in perception and behavior, as well as the role played by emotion and reason. The second factor is the evolution of the markets. Today's markets are increasingly competitive and global. Brands and their ability to differentiate themselves are more important than ever. And buying behavior is increasingly driven by emotional factors rather than rational processes. There is also another term which is called as a 360 degree sensory marketing as shown in this particular figure. Consumer behavior can be influenced by sensory marketing to generate experiences at every stage of the buying process, like activation of desire, awareness of the product or service, assessment of the product or service in relation to other options, and even post-purchase evaluation of use or consumption of those services. This sort of 360 degree sensory marketing serves to define the points of contact between a consumer and a service provider at every behavioral stage. Sensory marketing techniques are usually applicable through the five senses of human beings, as showcased in this particular diagram. Research has shown that the involvement of multiple senses can have a multiplier effect on perceptions when the senses in question communicate synergistic messages. That means all the five senses that we have, right, they're communicating the same message to the audience or a consumer. For example, the research from Hollis identified that when a brand or service provider, if they engage in more than four or five senses, if they're able to accelerate these four to five senses at a time, there is a greater increase in terms of brand loyalty expected from those customers as compared to when we are just evoking zero or maybe one or two senses. In other words, each sensory stimulus reinforces the message conveyed by all the others, giving rise to stronger, more consistent and more holistic perceptions. This integrated accumulation of sensory impacts improves the customer's perception, lodging it deeper into his or her memory. Let's have a look at these particular five senses in detail. The first one among here is sight, or which we call it as a visual elements. Vision is most important to consumers at the point of purchase and when getting familiar with the product. At later stages, other senses becomes more important. For example, logo design, packaging aesthetics, store layout, and even visual merchandising. It is reported that it takes 45 milliseconds for the human eye to detect a visual object. And it is also highlighted that 80% of all the information that is consumed is through the eyes. Next, sense is sound or auditory elements. Here we have examples like jingles, background music, brand sounds, and even the voice tone in advertisements. Next sense is touch or tactile element. Examples here include texture of products, packaging feel, and even the interactive touch points in store. Merely touching an object results in an increase in perceived ownership of that particular object. Another sense is smell or olfactory elements. This involves scented products, ambient fragrances in stores, and scented marketing materials as well. Distinctly scented objects enhance recall for other attributes of the object, both with and without a scent and being present at the time of recall. 75% of human emotions are generated from and by the smell that is documented. What are the categories of scent according to research? So, for example, 
lavender, basil, cinnamon and citrus type of smells or aromas are more relaxing, whereas peppermint, thyme and rosemary aromas are energizing. And ginger, cardamom, licorice and chocolate aromas tend to stir romantic feelings among customers. Next sense is test or gustatory elements. This involves testing stations, uh, product sampling and even food and behavior offerings. In one study, children tested identical foods and drinks either in packaging from McDonald's or from unbranded packaging. Children preferred the test of food and drinks they believed were from McDonald's. So that's the kind of sense that how it influences consumer perception and behavior. From a research perspective, it is also established that implementing sensory marketing tools, say for example, a coffee shop's context, they influence the emotions pursued by customers and influencing the behavioral intention altogether. So what are the objectives of sensory marketing for brand managers? First, enhance brand recall. By engaging multiple senses, brands or service providers aim to create more memorable and distinctive experiences leading to better recall. Another objective is to create positive emotional associations. Sensory elements contribute to the emotional impact of a brand, fostering positive associations that influence consumer preferences. Another objective can be to differentiate in the brand market. Creating a unique multi-sensory experience helps service providers stand out in competitive market, contributing to differentiation. Another objective is to influence purchase decisions. Positive sensory experiences can influence consumers' perceptions of product quality and can impact their purchase decisions. Another objective can be to build brand loyalty. Brands that consistently deliver positive sensory experiences can build stronger connections, leading to increased brand loyalty. Finally, sensory marketing also helps to create a unique brand identity. Sensory cues contribute to a brand's identity, helping consumers identify and relate to the brand more effectively. Let's understand the sensory marketing with a case study of Starbucks. So how Starbucks uses sensory marketing to create memorable experiences? First sense is that is sight or vision for that matter. Starbucks green and yellow interior with soothing lightning provides a relaxing experience. Even the wallpaper and artwork are consistent across all Starbucks stores. The barista gives the customer a warm welcome with a smile, which instantly gives off a positive vibe. The sitting arrangement in Starbucks coffee shops is designed for launching and providing ample space. They also have round tables to make solo coffee drinkers feel less lonely. So that's the psychology at work. Next sense is hearing. The music played in Starbucks stores is carefully selected to create the Starbucks experience. The songs played in Starbucks stores are sent directly to each location from the company's central location. Baristas who are trained to engage in conversation with the customers remember their previous orders and call out customers' name when the order is ready. This is what makes Starbucks so unique. This makes the customer feel special. The sound of coffee being prepared is also another element. The sound of the coffee machine and the barista's tone of voice combines to give a unique Starbucks experience. Next, about smell. Starbucks ensure the aroma or smell of the coffee is strong enough to attract customers and make people think it's the world's finest coffee. They make the coffee in front of the customer, including grinding coffee beans. They even stopped serving breakfast because the smell of eggs and other kind of you know, food items might dilute the particular smell from coming from coffee. Repeat this last point. They even stopped serving breakfast because the smell of eggs interfered with the fresh smell of ground coffee. Then test. Starbucks tries to personalize every order according to the customer's needs. The barista takes all the input special instructions given by the customer to ensure the order is specially made according to the customer's liking. If a customer is dissatisfied with the order, Starbucks remakes it to give the customer a pleasurable experience. Customers can ask the barista for a test sample of the coffee before placing the order. This reduces post-purchase disappointment. Then coming to touch. 
The feel of the coffee mug or cup for that matter and the tray is crucial. Even the cutlery provided. And finally, the comfort provided by the sofas, chairs in Starbucks. All these appeals to a touch kind of, you know, senses. So what are the key takeaways then? First, a good experience using or consuming a brand or product or service enhances engagement with the customer. Key to creating a magical experience is working on all the senses of a customer. And finally, creating a lingering memory of good experiences over time can turn customers into brand friends. So sensory marketing is a dynamic and evolving field that considers the holistic experience of consumers. By appealing to multiple senses, businesses seek to create a deeper and more lasting impact on consumers, ultimately influencing their perceptions and behaviors. So in this session, we try to examine the impact of emotional and sensory marketing with special reference to services. Thank you.